Okay, so now we're going to talk about a recurring problem in FLL is the light sensor being inconsistent between when you practice and when you go to competition. So basically the problem is when you practice your room is usually closed and lit with uh, neon light bulbs and so it's artificial light lighting and so you get some readings and then you go to competition and it's natural lighting for some reason some some people do it in the gymnasium and it's very bright light and you get different readings on your sensors and that can really mess your program up if you're not calibrating everything so you, there are two ways to fix this program you either calibrate your program every time you run it or you can do it uh, by fixing the robot so let first let's see the problem let's see how what happens so here I'm currently reading this sensor this one here and on the black it says 41 percent and on the white it says 71 percent right now I have a very very bright light that I am going to turn on and you see the difference properly. So this is one is a very bright light that I can use to simulate the light, light and the way the, the light at the competition. There. So here the black I get 63%. So it's very close to the white. Now the white I get 100%, like fully reflected. So see, my black is now my old white and my white is still white. So the problem is your robot will always read white. So, what you can do to fix it with the hardware is put some sort of shield in front of it. So this way the sensors don't pick up any light, any outside light at all. So I've made one. It's, this principle is very basic. You just put beams in front of it and mask the sensors from the light as much as you can. So here the the beams are very is are not even touching the 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 table it's a penny the, the the distance between the two is a penny and you can see it's going around my light sensors so this way even if there's light coming in here it's not missing my light sensor so let's try the light again Let's see what it gives us. So, same way. So, still 42%. And I can even put it right on top. I can treat it, but it still reads 44%. Let's put the white now. So, now it reads 72%. Instead of the light. Still reads 72%. I put the light right on top, it's 80% right on top. And still 70 at an angle. So, see? So the black stays where it is and the white stays where it is. And so when you, so this way, if you have this shield, it doesn't really take that much space. If you can do it very close to the sensors, then this way you don't have to reprogram it everywhere you go so that's how you would protect your light sensors from uh, light